Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Panini National Treasures Baseball. Four box, pick your team number 54. It's a full case break and a wax party break. We'll do that randomizer at the end along with anything else that we may have to randomize. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Appreciate you. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up. And thanks to the people who uh, won their, got into that choice break and won their teams. Congrats to you again. Adam with triple last spot mojo, buying three teams before their main other teams were pulled. There it is. 2022. Do I have Mickey Moniak in my fantasy lineup? Oh, so let me take this out of in our inventory system. I always forget to do that. One, two, six. Um, no offense to the city of Cleveland, and I was in Cleveland last fall to go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I think it's a lovely area. I have Moniac on the bench. Nice. Come on, Joe. Anyway, um, but I hear that that the Cleveland. Have you, have you been to the Cleveland National? I want to say the Cleveland one is is not anywhere near like downtown, like where all the fun stuff is. Which makes it kind of a. Not as popular destination. <laughs> that's what that's what <clears throat> that's what Nick has said. I think he's been there once or twice for a national. Or maybe just once. Yeah, he says this the location is Oh. Huh? What's this all about? The stickers on this side? Extra fat box? Just some extra thick card and a thick book. All right. Nice. All right, we got Brandon Lau, 50, uh, 15 that is, out of 25. That's for Eugene and the uh, Tampa Bay Rays. Got Josh Lowe. It's, Der it's Brandon Lau, Derek Lowe, Josh Lowe, but Brandon goes Lau. Another Ray for Eugene. And there's Tommy Lasorda, Retro Materials, 14 out of 15, RIP. We've got my Dodgers, that'll be for Reno. We've got Norhe Vera, 16 out of 25, Midnight Signatures. After midnight, Uh, that looks, that's a white sock, right? Yeah, it's part of the white sock system here. Right, 
Next up, thick card here. We got Andre Jackson, 10 out of 10. And that's for Reno and the Dodgers. There's Lars Nootbaar. 14 out of, uh, 11 out of 49 that is, Cardinals. <clears throat> it's gonna be for Ed Aarons. Newts, local guy. Then we've got a one of one. A Nike swoosh and autograph Sony sent Tony Santillan for the red legs. And that's gonna be for Jared. Picked up the red straight up. Nice. And Jared. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. And then we got an on plate autograph, Julio Rodriguez, one of one. And that's John Jackson, got the Mariners in the filler. Nice. John, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. And the guys in the chat are saying he's up and he's pitching right now. Aaron saying he's pitching right now. Rex said he just got called up. Let's, uh, let's go to the box score here. Look all these youngsters, the Reds are just calling up and they're just, yeah, Santillan is up right now. Eight pitches, two strikes, nothing nothing really going on right now. He's trying to get out of a bases loaded sitch here. We got, they got Ellie De La Cruz. They got, they got um, Encarnacion Strand who called up and got hit a homer. Next we got Helio Ramos, three out of 49, jersey and autograph. for Ada and the Giants. And the thick book. What do we got here? Three out of five. What a box. Timeless treasures. Ooh, look at these. Look at these relics right here. We got Johnny Bench, Gary Carter, Pudge and Piazza. Quadruple relic, legendary catchers out of five. Now the problem is there's some sad times here. Jared has the Reds. Uh, Nat, or Expos, Gary Carter goes to the Nationals. Adam has the Nats. Tristan has Texas. And Tristan has the Mets. Oh, he actually, he actually has two of the four. So he has better odds, but it's still a randomizer, ladies and gentlemen. We gotta make one person happy and other people sad. We'll set that aside there. That's just box one. Rex is asking, of those four players, who is the best of that group? I feel like everyone's might have different answers depending on what you look for in a catcher. Possibly based on generational lines as well. Right, 
we'll use this blank card right here to hide the hits. All right, we've got one out of five. Another train whistle, Chris Archer, triple relic for uh, Minnesota. That'll be for Jared. And Jared. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Dylan Carlson, 85 out of 99 for the Cardinals. That'll be for Ed Aarons. Ed, Ed's also saying Johnny Bench. Out of 25, Albert Pujols for the Redbirds. Another one for Ed. I have gone into Immaculate Grid. It is, uh, it's very difficult. Two out of 99, Cole Tucker for Adam and the Diamondbacks. Jared Walsh, 10 out of 10. That'll be for David M. and the Angels. Andrew Vaughn, eight out of 25. Patch and autograph for Eric Clicks and the White Sox. Wow, you had your first nine pointer on Monday? I think the best I've done is like three or four. Here's Jackson Carr. I don't play every day though. Gotta get back, gotta get back into it. But not only there, not only is it is just getting the entire grid difficult enough. Then the other layer is to try to get the lowest percentage number to get the most rare one. There's Tani from the Royals. There you go, Tani. There's John Smoltz. And speaking of Smoltz, Rex was thinking about the big three Braves switch from the Knights. Who is the best, Maddox, Glavin, or Smoltz? Maddox. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't think it's close either. Yeah, I mean, Glavin and Smoltz were very good. I mean, Smoltz obviously a Hall of Famer. Glavin was. Glavin isn't a Hall of Fame, right? But Maddox definitely, I think, is better than John Smoltz. The book is a dual memorabilia signature, sixty-two out of ninety-nine. And it is Tyler McGill for the Mets. That'll be for Tristan. Oh, you know what? I could use some slider box. I forget. There's a book a box. Sixty-four out of seventy. Mark McGuire. Is the NFL one terrible? <laughs> oh, like what's like? It's is it not from the same makers of from the people that brought you the Immaculate Grid? Here's Immaculate Grid football. Rex thinks Maddox is better at painting house corners too. Like just literally the, the corners of houses. Is Glavin a Hall of Famer? Hmm. 
first ballot? I honestly don't remember Glavin getting in. Well, my apologies to the Glavin family. Mea culpa. Twelve out of ninety nine, there's a mirror Garrett. Ninety-two out of ninety-nine, Kyle Muller. Glavin could have been the NHL instead of the LMB. Now that everyone knows, right? I feel like that's saying Antonio Gates used to play basketball in college. That's in the level in the level of Clayton Kershaw and Matthew Stafford are friends. They went to elementary school together. Phil Rizzuto, thirty-two out of forty-nine piece of his jersey that goes to um, the Yankees. That'll be for Nathan. Alejandro Kirk, 13 out of 52. Nathan and the Blue Jays. You got Yerman Mercedes, 46 out of 99. Eric Clicks in the White Sox. Logan Gilbert, 66 out of 99. Uh, John with the Mariners. Yeah, I can spell Rizzuto because I, I just saw it right there. We got Rodolfo Castro, 10 out of 49. Pittsburgh RPA. It's for Aaron Miller. Nice color there. Forty-five out of forty-nine. Jose Ramirez field pass autograph for Ed P and the Guardians. Cleveland, this is for you. You're welcome, Aaron. And the book is Old Glory. Aaron Judge, thirteen out of ninety-nine. Nice autograph. You got the stars and bars in the background. That looks sharp. That'll be for Nathan and the Yankees. All right. Fourth and final box, then we'll do a randomizer for the Wax Party invite and that out of five quad relic book. Yeah, my apologies to Tom Glavin. Dylan's like, come on, man. Glavin's a 300 game winner. Looking at his page right now, 305, 305 wins, 203 losses, a lifetime 354 ERA, a little over 2,600 strikeouts, 10-time All-Star, World Series champion, two-time Cy Young Award winner, four-time Silver Slugger, Chick Stig the Long Ball, World Series MVP, five-time NL Wins leader, yeah, and first ballot Hall of Famer, 91.9% .9 of the vote. Come on, Joe. This is, this is why I'm no good at Immaculate Grid. 
There's Brian Dela Cruz, 92 out of 99. Did I do I like the Bill, movie Billy Madison or is that too dumb of a movie? Too dumb of a movie for me. Yeah, most of those are. Eight out of ten, Fergie Jenkins. What's this moth doing here? Get out of here, moth. Jan with the Cubs with old Fergie Jenkins. Is, does he, isn't he getting a statue? It's Vlad Guerrero Jr. 60 out of 90. Where would that bug go? How many pitchers win a Silver Slugger award, let alone multiple? Oh, well, a lot of pitchers have won Silver Sluggers. Until the Universal DH. It's Vlad Guerrero Jr. Nathan. Multiple? I feel like Maybe Kershaw won multiple? 10 out of 49. That is uh, Curtis Terry. Was that Fergie James and Ranger? Or did I, did I dream that? Hang on, first of all, th this is a Ranger, Tristan with Texas. Wow, that Fergie Jenkins is Texas edition. In my head, he's a cub, but every once in a while, they'll do that. But there's been a silver slugger for the pitcher since the silver slugger award was created, at least for the NL pitchers. Matt Olson for the A's. Here's two out of 42, Isaac Paredes for the Rays. My stack of hits are too high now, I can't see the list. Um, Eugene with the Rays. We got O'Neill Cruz, nice. RPA, 44 out of 99. Pirates, Aaron, who picked up the Pirates straight up. Aaron's like, I'm not messing around with a filler. I'm gonna just go ahead and get a spot straight up and let it ride and let RPAs like O'Neill Cruz fall into my lap. Nice. Nice patch, all on card, doesn't, doesn't go off the card or anything like that. Got, he's got good pen discipline right here. That's who you're hunting. Nice. All right. Then we've got we've got Eloy Jimenez. Where where was he supposed to sign here? The dark ink. I mean, I I maybe here, but they put a dark shirt right there. I think he's supposed to sign here, but then he's like, wait a second. That's for the White Sox. That's going to go to Eric Clicks. And a six out of six legendary signatures nickname? Ooh, there's Larry Dolby. Cleveland! Is Ed P. Cleveland? This is for you. Nice. I'll find a ran out of slider box here, but I'll put that in a nice slider box there. And the final card is Teoscar Hernandez, 17 out of 25. Nathan, the Toronto. Here we go, All right. Basketball Hall of Fame. Okay. Thank you, Jen. A little bit of a non sequitur, but we'll take it. 
think they include collegiate basketball too, right? Sometimes that that stretches the criteria a little bit. All right, so let's flip back over to random.org. So the randomizer for the quad relic is going to be Johnny Bench, Cincinnati edition. This is the only edition. Gary Carter, Montreal, Nationals. Montreal, so the Nationals. Then we have Pudge, Rangers, and Mike Piazza, New York Mets edition right here. All right, oh, so we're gonna do uh, nine times for the quad relic, nine times as well for the wax party invite. So let's gather all these names as well. Put them into another clean list here. All right, we'll do the quad relic first. Five and four, nine times, good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Cincinnati on top after nine, and that's gonna be for Jared Patterson. There's a stopper on the bottom. Oh, Piggy. Never have to break there you go, Jared. Johnny Bench's jersey, Gary Carter's bat, Ivan Rodriguez jersey, Mike Piazza jersey. And that's all three out of five. Jared. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -hoo. My apologies to the other guys, but thanks for getting in. Congrats again to Jared. All right, nice. Now, Wax Party Invite. Who's gonna get that? Five and a four, nine times. There's the big list of names. Name on top gets it. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and ninth and final time. Fingers crossed, everybody. The worst spot is spot two. So close, but not quite. Ed, Ed P. Sorry, guy. Ed A up there as well. Sorry, Eds. Apologies to uh, two through 30, but appreciate you giving it a shot. But there can be only one winner after nine, and that's gonna be, wow. Did I do that right? Five and a four, nine times? Yeah, Jared, who just won that quad relic, just won the wax party invite as well. Some guys have all the luck. Jared, go go buy a lottery ticket. I think, what, Powerball? Mega Million? Something like that. One of those is almost is like a billion dollars, right? Or both. Why not both? Win both. I'm Joe for jazpiescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.